Howdy everyone! Now, a little while ago I made a review of Canon's 70-200mm f2.8 USM lens, and you can watch that full review by clicking on the link below or the link in the description. It's the older, non-image stabilised version of the lens. I tested it on my APS-C camera, a Canon 60D, where it yielded very good picture quality, although it was very slightly rusty around the edges in some ways. But here's a test of the lens's capabilities on a full-frame camera, in this case, the 20 megapixel Canon 6D. The lens gives a much wider angle field of view on full-frame, making it a little more versatile for everyday photography. The 70-200mm focal length is wonderful on a full-frame camera, and I find it much more useful for shooting events. Let's start by zooming out to 70mm and looking at the maximum aperture of f2.8. As we look closely, we see the performance is looking even better than it does on APS-C cameras. The image is very sharp, with good contrast, and the purple fringing which was visible on my Canon 60D has disappeared. As we look in the corners, we can see there's still plenty of sharpness and only the slightest hint of chromatic aberration in the windows. It's only in the very extreme corners that we see softness, but it's hardly disastrous. As we stop down to f4, you'll notice that the corners are a little brighter, as vignetting clears up. There's a nice increase in sharpness, which gets even better as we stop down to f5.6, although the extreme corners still aren't quite as sharp as they could be. As we look back in the middle, things are still watertight. All in all, a fantastic performance at 70mm, except for those extreme corners which aren't quite perfect. Let's zoom in a bit now to 135mm. As you can see from the dark edges in this picture, the vignetting at f2.8 is a little more noticeable. When we look closely in the middle, we can see the image quality is still excellent, very sharp indeed, and the corners are slightly less sharp, but still looking good. But stop down to f4, and we see loads of pinpoint sharpness again. There's an even greater improvement at f5.6, and the lens remains extremely sharp even as we stop all the way down to f16. So again, a fantastic performance, but not completely perfect at f2.8. Finally, let's zoom all the way into 200mm. At f2.8, the image is fantastic in the middle, very nice and sharp. The corners also look great, with no visible chromatic aberration, although again, they're a little dark from the effects of vignetting. At f4, the quality is the same, but the vignetting disappears. The image quality remains more or less exactly the same as we keep stopping down all the way to f16. This is a very impressive performance. The image is really clean. The corners are very sharp, although admittedly, newer lenses can get a bit sharper. But overall, no one could seriously complain about the image quality of this lens. There's a fair bit of vignetting, but using peripheral illumination on your camera will help that. And the very extreme corners aren't always perfectly sharp, but that's not normally an issue, because this lens is often used for a lot of applications where your subject won't always be in the corners. All in all, the lens turns in a fantastic performance on full-frame cameras.